And three, two, one, now. Hi, I'm Lewis Lightning. Welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Um, as you can see, I'm back at Soldier's Peak. I fought my way out of the Brazilian forest and got here. I did pretty much everything we've done before. So, uh, just hoping that I won't die if we get ambushed on the road again. No, oh, excuse me, I got a burp. But, um, yeah, I did everything we did before. Sold, put stuff away, bought stuff, made potions, all that stuff. Um, and if it's anything like our other times I've died on the road, we should get an ambush at the exact same point again if we go to the forest. The same part in the forest. Um, ah, it's so hard to select. There we go. Um, but yeah, I actually fought those darkspawn in the forest again. And when I beat them, it was much, much easier. Okay, so the fight's not taking place in the same spot but we're having a fight. So yeah, we'll see if we can manage this. I see enemies ahead. Yep, it's the same fight. Bandits. Bandits should be, yeah, a yellow one. And, huh. I thought there was some that attacked us from behind last time. So I'm going to take control of Win And handle the healing. I'm just thinking... And I don't know why I can't use poisons at all. But yeah, um, like I said, I'm going to take control of win. Uh, I guess I'll just let things go the way they're going to go for now. Let's see. What does Earthquake do? It's friendly fire, so I don't want to do that. No, no, no. I didn't want to do that. I will use heroic offense on Shale, though. Right ahead. And there's traps. So I'm going to get Liliana to yes. take out that first trap, because that one's really in a bad spot. Now, I'm going to try and have them focus on the weaker bandits. I shall do it. And then I'm going to have them, you know, worry about the other ones. And actually, I'm going to try and do a lot of AoE attacks. There's no friendly fire here, so he's gonna use Quake. Make his breath. Okay, we're all stunned suddenly. I need to do blue peel. Why is my character suddenly like so dead? What happened? Like right off the bat, like I just got pulverized here. And like I can't do anything about this. That's not who I want to pick. Shale. Use Quake. Someone please stop the bleeding. Uh, I'm gonna have Liliana use a lesser health poultice. And Warb instead, of course. Uh, I gotta pick Win here. No, don't use those spells. Dead. Frick! She wasted all her mana. That's Illyrium. Then I'm going to pull off Revival. So either Orvin or Liliana should come back right away. And oh, I got them both. Sweet. And he needs to take a greater health this. He can use a regular health this. And I'm going to hit Liliana with a I'll hopefully rejuvenate when, she, when I get the chance, but for now I need to attack. Wow, it, like Shale did not like get much of a heal at all. Let's use a, another greater, I guess. Things are going better. I just really don't want to lose. I think that's the main point here. And that main bandit's dead. Hopefully things go a lot easier. Uh, I still don't have any magic to use. I'll just hammer these guys and heal. I'll heal Warven because he's injured and he's uh, not as sturdy as what's his name, Shale. 
Come on, let me heal some more. Orvin, you need a helpful this. Should be over right away. That heal Orvin. And no one's even attacking Liliana anymore. Yeah, I don't know why that was, or is and was so hard. But we've defeated them now. Um, thank God, and I'm gonna save. I have realized after these difficult battles, I should probably save a whole lot more. But yeah, we made it through. Thank God. And I'm going to need to give these people some lesser injury kits. And another lesser injury kit for Warbin. And Shale's okay, and I'm okay. Actually, what am I saying? I'm okay. I'm not even on my character. Here we go. I thought I saw something that could be picked up. Not besides the elf fruit. I thought this guy had something. Or maybe I was seeing traps? Yeah, they're traps. That's what it was. Uh, I'll switch to Liliana. And we'll get these traps out of the way. I don't know if she got that first one or not. Maybe that was the problem. I focused Liliana on the trap and I should have had her helping more. I don't know. Iron ring. Some death root. How did we get enough space for the iron ring? Oh, I, I opened up space in my inventory. I forgot about that. And the world map. Um, before we do that, I'm going to search around. Yeah, there's nothing else here. So we'll move on back to the forest. Oh, thank God. I really, really, really didn't want to die there. And when Liliana and Warbin both collapsed, I was like, no! It's going to be a repeat. I probably would have actually just cut this video and restarted that again from the beginning. And hopefully you guys... <laughs> and pretend it never happened. Uh, okay. This is the sucky part. Like I said, you can't start back from where you left off. But you can... I wish I could start right at the ruins. I believe eventually you can start right at the ruins, but not... Not until you actually like finish them, which is just stupid. And you can see on a map too, there's a lot of areas there that like, you know, show places that you've been to, but they're, I'll just go, oh, I can't do that right now. Never mind. Um, they show areas that you've been to, like, you'll say the West Brazilian Forest or East Brazilian Forest or whatever. We've been there and it'll show them on the map, but you can't select them. It was like, why even show it on the map? Uh-oh, cops here. No, that's not for me. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, you know what was funny is that these runes actually weren't that difficult. Those spiders weren't that challenging. Actually, I had fun fighting those. The dragon was a bit challenging, but we beat him. And, I mean, his dragon, he should be challenging. I mean, if the dragons were as easy as everything else, I'd be like, well, it's kind of disappointing. So, we still have to go and loot everything in that area like that dragon head stuff and I saw some other stuff in the back of the cave there was some like soldiers corpses and stuff there we had to loot yeah so these guys I just basically pulled them one at a time and tried to kill them as best I could sometimes I pulled more than one you can see their bones but sometimes I pulled more than one but I was still able to take on two at once right it wasn't that difficult and I made my way through without using a single health poultice which was nice uh, yeah, I don't like how I'm using up all my health poultices. I gotta make some more or buy some more right away. Unfortunately, I can't buy any more health poultices. And the materials to make them, I need more flasks which aren't available anywhere I've been. Maybe I'll head back to the Chantry Tower at some point. Or the Circle Tower, I should say. And buy what I can there. I could also probably go to, uh, what's his name? Owen in Redcliffe. And maybe he'd have some stuff to buy uh, in terms of crafting supplies. I don't think he'd have any poultices. And if he did, I probably already bought them. Okay, so this dragon had heavy chainmail. Because, you know, dragons need that protection. And then there is this knight corpse. Okay, I thought that was a soldier corpse. A dwarf corpse. Some grave silver bowl. There is a soldier corpse. So I did see one. It looks exactly... Oh, no, it's not the same. But we've seen that soldier corpses before. They're actually dressed up like pal... Or Templars, I say. I don't know why I want to call them paladins. I mean, they're kind of the same. They're holy. Part of a holy order and all that. 
chest here. Maybe Liliana open that. I wouldn't be surprised if we, uh, let's check our inventory. We got six spaces. I wouldn't be surprised if we fill it up here and have to go right back. There's another chest. I see all that gold over there too that was shining. But I'm gonna get this stuff first. Dragon Horde. What did he have? Poultices! Yay! Those don't take up any space. If I already have them, that is. Ooh, a better bow. Splint mail. Yeah, let's we'll see. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're not going to be able to take all this, I think. So, uh, we have to go back. Dump some of this junk off. And there was quite a bit of junk that we have and that we got. Uh, we'll just go to that, the Dalish camp. There's no need to really go any further. I could give some gifts, too, which eh, I don't really care to do right now. Because we got some stuff from those bandits too, right? Not much, but we got some stuff. I think it was just like maybe some chain mail or weak weapon. Uh, let's see if Liliana can use this bow real quick that we picked up. Because it was a better quality bow. You can tell by the colors. Uh, oh, we didn't pick it up. But yeah, that darkspawn mace can go back. We don't need that shit. Where am I now? This way. No. Yes. <sighs> so confusing all of a sudden. But yeah, uh, we'll see. Maybe she can use that bow. It's it's better quality, but because of that, it might also be uh, more. Might require more dexterity or higher level or something that Liliana doesn't have right, right now. So. Oh, but I'm little, getting a little bit worried that we might not be able. Well, I'm. I'm trying to think of the right way to say this. That way I won't be able to finish all of Dragon Age Origins the way I intended to. Because I I consider Dragon Age Origins kind of its... like And all the DLC part of its game. And while that should encompass Awakening, Awakening is like a completely different story. Like it has... It doesn't have that much to do with the actual events of Origins. Like... Uh... I, I don't know if you can, if it's standalone expansion or not, but I mean it seems like it's a standalone expansion. Like it is, like I said, it's its own story. So I consider it a different game, like Dragon Age Origins 1.5. I mean it's largely the same. It's not as big, obviously, but I don't know. So, anyways, what my point is, um, I wanted to finish Origins before The Last of Us came out, and by Origins I meant everything besides Awakening. And uh, now it looks like we won't be able to do that because I, I want to do this also the same way the timeline goes in-game. And I believe, I looked it up, and I know it's something like this. Um, I just This is off the top of my head. But it's, I believe, after Origins, well, after, like Liliana's Song, then Origins, then I believe it's Awakening. Then after Awakening is the Golems of Amgarak and the... Uh, Witch Hunt. So that means if I'm going to do this by the timeline, I have to play Awakening before I play um, the other two DLCs, Am Golems of Amgarak and Witch Hunt, which I didn't plan to do. Like, like I said, I consider a different game. I want to play these games in order. That being said, um, the events of Dragon Age 2 also take place during... Well, some of them take place during the events of Origins. So... I could be playing that as well, but those really are separate games, the two of them. Like, they connect in almost no way whatsoever. You can play Dragon Age 2 without ever having played Origins or Awakening. So, I'll probably, after I finish Origins, we're going to go and probably play uh, Awakening what and do you go wish? back and do I am no Golems and Amgrak. Let us trade. Perhaps there's something here which will be of value to you. Okay, let's just sell all this useless crap. Darkspawn Mace we don't need. I should probably use some fire... Heck, I could use ice arrows too. I have 99 of them. And, I mean, I could probably find some more on the way. Chainmail of boots. You know what? We don't need a whole lot of boots anyways. So we'll get rid of... We'll get rid of both of them. we got Splint Mail, which is going to probably be the same. You can tell by the price that these things are the same. 27... 
the cost of sending steam, we'd easily get rid of them. And in fact, I will. I'll get rid of the splint mail. This chainmail is higher quality, so I don't want to get rid of that. Like, see, the the yellow stuff is higher quality than the orange, so I'm going to keep that. Uh, I think that's it for that. We'll get rid of this iron ring. And what did I pick up? That it must have been a bunch of poultices or some of these uh, balms and salves that I picked up that are taking up space. I mean, I did buy all that uh, dist distillation agent too, which would take up space, but only one slot. Mm, we had that. Oh, where is it? That bowl we got. We can sell. Oh, an emerald, topaz, malachite. We can get rid of all those. Floor spar, we just need to garnet. it. And I mean, if we ever have to, we can come back and buy it over here, right? Where's that silver bowl? That's gone. So we have 10 spaces. Now, I'm going to try and quickly get back, if not to exactly where we were in the temple, then at least back to uh, the ruins themselves, the, the, the entrance to that. I know, this, this has been mostly me running back and forth, selling stuff. We had a battle in the beginning, and uh, eh, that was kind of it. Uh, mostly keep my inventory emptied and traveling through. Like, this is what I said. This is most of your game's going to be, well, not most of your game, but going through these areas, you're going to spend a lot of time doing this, running back and forth, because, I mean, you want to pick up everything good, and some stuff it's questionable is going to be useful to you at that point or not. Maybe later you'll want to use it. Like that juggernaut armor I've been picking up, I want to use that. I just can't use it now. So I got to take it, and if I keep it in my inventory, I can't really pick anything else up that might be good. And if I, uh, well, I don't want to chuck it, so I have to go back to Soldier's Keep and just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, loading screens and all this junk. Especially in the Brazilian forest, we have to go through all these different areas. But hopefully. I'll get back to the uh, ruins right away. I'm sure I can get there. And hopefully I can get inside. That's what I'm hoping. I think that's about as far as I'll get. But I will be doing two hours worth of videos. So this is the first video of the first hour. I might have to go and do some other stuff. So I'll take a little break. I know I said I was going to do two hours yesterday. But dying like that so many times was so frustrating. That I was just like, no, screw it. I'm not doing this again. But uh, yeah, that's why this time I just I didn't want to keep recording the same part over and over when I die. So I just decided to get past it all and then start my recording. And luckily it only took me one try. So here we are at the ruins already. I could probably get inside and if I really wanted to push the envelope, I could get to probably where we were. So I'll try get there, but I'm not going to go over 20 minutes. It's these damn loading screens and stuff that kill me. Time wise. So, yeah, anyways, like I was saying before, I'm really hoping I can get through at least Origins, the events of this game, before uh, June 14th. I believe that's when it comes out, uh, Last of Us. So, I'd like to start that uh, without really worrying about playing Dragon Age Origins at the same time. Although, I don't really have a problem playing Awakening or the other DLC. While I do that, I'll, I can just take it slower. Wow, we made it back. Okay, hopefully we can get the looting done. We have like 30 seconds before I'd like to cut this. So I'll loot the rest of this. And then we'll get ready to move on to the next area. But that'll be in the next video. Take all. So if you've enjoyed this video, leave me a like, comment, or subscribe. And uh, yeah, tune in for some more. Thanks. Bye.